One important feature that we added recently is the ability to paginate through uh, different pages of results in a collection. So imagine that you have a thousand nodes and you hit uh, a thousand articles and you hit slash node slash article uh, for the JSON API and you get a collection of all the articles. You would be loading a thousand articles and checking for the access of uh, every field for every article, etc., and uh, pro processing that request and uh, crafting a gigantic JSON API compliant object back to the to the client. Uh, that is a lot of load and uh, may even be enough to bring your site down, depending on the on the number of of entities that you have. So uh, to avoid this. By default, JSON API is paginating the collections by 50 items, and you can work with that in order to get exactly the results that that you want. So let's see how a col what a, how a collection would be done in in the pagination style. So this is HTTP colon slash slash dev local API node article format api json and if i click send you'll see that uh, we're getting a collection of articles in this case i didn't specify any pagination and since i said that by default the number of uh, items per page is 50 and we only have three articles in in this Drupal instance we can get everything to fit in the first page so it's like there is no pagination so in order to interact with the pagination uh, we uh, the JSON API spec has the reserved the page parameter and uh, you use it like like this so you can do page size 2 so there are three articles and uh, now I'm setting my page size equals two, so the first two will fit in the first page and uh, those are the ones that are going to be displayed. You can see that there are only two. And more importantly, there are links that allow us to, uh, using this link here, go to the next page in the, in the pagination. So if we click this, then send, you'll see that we are getting just one because this is the last page and the first one uh, contains two items. There are only three, so the last page contains only one item. And you can see that now in this page we get the first and previous links, uh, which will bring us back to, to the previous page, to the first page. Um, you'll see here that in order to advance in the in the pages, uh, we're using the offset. So instead of specifying the page number, we are specifying the number of items that we are skipping. So in this case, we are skipping two items. So if I put a one here, I'm still gonna get two items. I'm gonna skip the first item and get the second and the third. I click send and uh, there are still one and two items and I'm still in the last page so um, basically, I'm, I'm getting the, the links for, for the first page. Um, you can also see that if I skip one item and I say that the page size is one item, uh, I'm going to be selecting the second item in the, uh, in the collection of items. And I'm going to get links for the previous and the next page because I'm in the middle. So you can see that there is only one and I have the next and the previous links to, to move forward and backward. So if you want to get a, a very, from the client perspective, if you want to get a very long list of uh, items or entities, you can automatically keep requesting this next URL with your client and until you get to the end, which you can detect by seeing that there is no next link, 
there is no next link here. That is how you iterate over all entities in the in the side. Instead of loading them all at once, uh, we are just loading them in chunks. So that is pagination.